Hey everyone, Derek here with a quick news update on Shigeru Miyamoto as he recently had an interview in Famitsu that was translated for Silicon Era by Ryo Katya 2089. So a lot of this is just bullet points going over what he had to talk about in the interview, so it's a little unstructured in how it's all presented, but we're going to go over it and give his thoughts on, well, mainly Mario and video game streaming, making games fun, and etc. Basically development. So again, a lot of these just seem like one-off comments with no real context given in this format, but we'll put them out there and see if there's anything interesting. So one of the first things he says is when it comes to Mario and making games related to Mario, I'm always looking for some kind of timing. What that timing is? Don't really know. But Famitsu does ask, are you the only one who can decide on Mario's areas of activity? Miyamoto responded, I did when nobody else would decide and eventually ended up being that way after a few times. Well, let's just say that I have the right to say nope. He also says, I've been keeping a close eye on Super Mario Run. Nobody else can decide just how far we can take Mario on mobile. He says Mario's qualities are about peace of mind, and there's a sense not so different from this within the company. So much that it makes him want to change it for being too strict. The standard sense of Mario is that he won't murder someone, but isn't good enough to not smash bugs. This is engraved into everyone's mind. Some worried about the mischievous Mario in Super Smash Bros., but after giving it a cute sound when he gets punched, they said, this is fine. He goes on to say that if I were to express Nintendo's qualities in words, then it is also peace of mind. There's peace of mind when looking at it as a parent, and you can have it in your living room. We've put great effort into creating something that can be the center of family amusement. I started thinking that way around the Wii. Around the time of the Nintendo 64, we looked at other companies' hardware and began thinking that our best strength was our interface. I like Apple. They do a good job of setting limitations while respecting user-friendliness for the customers. There was a time when Nintendo was called childish, but after continuous work on our priorities, the efforts began to show around the Wii that gave us the image of peace of mind. What really makes something Nintendo to us comes from truly thinking about the customers. It's not about the market or the current trends. And then in a follow-up part, Miyamoto shared his thoughts on video game streaming, on making games fun, and so forth. So on gameplay streaming, he had to say, I think it is good that there are many ways to enjoy things. In this era, we can present videos to a broader audience, and I'm sure there are many who watch and find interest in those games. I would probably watch gameplay walkthroughs for games made by others. Although honestly, I don't want people to watch my stuff. It's okay if it's for stuff made by others though. And he laughed at this. He says, lately I've been playing a lot of Pokemon Go. We've reached a point that makes it possible to experience movies and games on similar platforms. I've started thinking that it's better for Nintendo to have motion pictures. It would be better for Mario to have a movie in this era. If you make something for the sake of selling, then it'll have all kinds of failures. The most important thing is to make something you believe is fun rather than something that would sell. If you try making something that sells, it eventually ends up becoming like something that's already out there. If what you make looks like something that might already be out there, then it won't sell well. That's why Nintendo makes things that have yet to be seen. I've been thinking about expanding on our characters, not just in games, but in various scenes. We're working with various companies. I hope we can continue doing new things without going on the defensive. And that's the end of the interview, which does give a sense of his philosophy on games, on how Nintendo treats things, and how it kind of works for them to go for something not really filled in by anybody else, at least for the most part. Still, it's an interesting look into the thought process of Miyamoto, and yeah, what do you guys think of this interview? Let us know in the comments, and of course be sure to subscribe to Game Explained for more on Nintendo, and other things gaming as well. Until next time, bye.